Today, I'm taking you through a quick roll call of the Empire Strikes Back action figures from Kenner released between the years of 1980 to 1982. I'll go over the names, the accessories, release dates, and how much I got my figures for. So let's go. Last episode, I took you through the first 21 figures that came out in the Star Wars action figure releases. Now, we're getting into all the figures for the Empire Strikes Back. The Empire Strikes Back toys from Kenner started hitting toy shelves in 1980. And not only did it include the toys from the new movie, which was breaking box office records being set by the first Star Wars movie, they also updated the packaging for the first 21 figures released. But here are all of the new figures released for the Empire Strikes Back starting with Wave 1 in 1980. Leia Organa Bespin Gown was first released in 1980 on the 31A cardbacks. This figure has one of the most variants in the Kenner line, and collectors can spend a lifetime trying to collect them all. She comes with a patterned vinyl cape and a blue Leia blaster. In the Return of the Jedi Mint on Cards, her name was changed to Princess Leia Organa in Bespin Outfit. I got my loose figure for $80.81 on eBay. FX-7 Medical Droid was released in 1980 on the 31A cardbacks and has no loose accessories. His head does swivel and he has wide arms that can be lifted up. His name was also changed on the mint on cards for the Return of the Jedi toys to simply FX-7. I got the loose figure for $20.61 on eBay. And if you like the content so far, please give this video a like and please subscribe. I talk about everything vintage Star Wars. Imperial Stormtrooper Hoth Battle Gear was released in 1980 on the 31A cardbacks. He comes with a white vinyl cape that attaches to his rear waist and a blue Imperial Hoth rifle. This figure came from my childhood collection. Rebel Soldier Hoth Battle Gear was released in 1980 on the 31A cardbacks and comes with the blue Bespin Blaster. I got this one gifted from my friend Matthew K. Bosk Bounty Hunter was released on the 31A cardbacks and comes with his own unique blue blaster rifle. One note on Bosk is that there is a neon green version of him nicknamed Toxic Limbs, which is worth quite a bit of money. I have the common version that I got from eBay for $23.73. IG-88 Bounty Hunter was released in 1980 on the 31A cardbacks. He comes with two accessories, the blue Imperial Blaster and the blue IG-88 long rifle. This figure comes from my childhood collection. Luke Skywalker Bespin Fatigues was released in 1980 on the 31B cardbacks and was the first action figure to come with a lightsaber that didn't protrude from the arm shaft. And although we never saw Luke with a yellow lightsaber, he comes with one and also a blue Rebel Blaster. This figure was gifted to me by 4th Moon Toys. Han Solo Hoth Outfit was released in 1980 on the 31A cardbacks and comes with the Blue Rebel Blaster. His name was changed to Han Solo Hoth Battle Gear for the Return of the Jedi line of toys. I got this figure for $31.97 from eBay. Lando Calrissian was first released in 1980 on the 31B cardbacks, and on this early version, his eyes and teeth were not painted. It was only after the 41A cardback releases did they come with painted eyes and teeth. This figure comes with the blue Bespin Blaster, and I got my No Smile version for $22.32 from eBay, and my Painted Smile version from Facebook for $16.25. Bespin Security Guard version A was released in 1980 on the 31A cardbacks and comes with a blue Bespin blaster. He can come either with a short or long mustache. I got mine from eBay for $26.94. Now we get into Wave 2. Yoda was the only figure released in Wave 2 in 1981 on the 32B cardbacks. He comes with an array of accessories, a soft goods robe, gimmer stick, a belt, and a snake. The snake can come in two colors, orange or brown. But Yoda is another figure that has a multitude of variants, with the brown snake version commanding higher prices. His name was changed to Yoda the Jedi Master for the Return of the Jedi line of toys. I got my orange snake Yoda from Orange Droid Vintage Toys for $78.43, and my brown snake Yoda for $162.42, from eBay. And now for Wave 3. 
Ugnaught was released in 1981 on the 41C cardbacks and comes with a white toolbox. This figure also comes with a blue apron, although this can come with a purple apron. I got my blue apron variant from the Imperial Commissary on Facebook for $29.27 and my purple variant for $23.19 at Orange Droid Vintage Toys. Dengar was released in 1981 on the 41A cardbacks and comes with the blue Imperial Hoth rifle. I got this from eBay for $18.84. Han Solo Bespin Outfit was released in 1981 on the 41A cardbacks and comes with the blue Bespin Blaster. I picked this one up from eBay for $19.96. Lobot was released in 1981 on the 41A cardbacks and comes with the blue Bespin Blaster. I got this from eBay for $23.65. Leia Hoth Outfit was released in 1981 on the 41A cardbacks and comes with the blue Princess Leia Blaster. Her name was changed to Leia Organa Hoth Outfit for the 47 cardbacks and changed again to Princess Leia Organa Hoth Outfit for the Return of the Jedi 65 card backs. I got this figure for $37.71 on Facebook. Rebel Commander was first released in 1981 on the 41A card backs and comes with the Black Hoth Rebel Rifle. I got this for free when I bought my Wampa on the Imperial Commissary. Adat Driver was released in 1981 on the 41A card backs and comes with the Black Imperial Rifle. I got this from eBay for $25.53. Imperial Commander was released in 1981 on the 41A cardbacks and comes with the blue Imperial Blaster. I bought this on eBay for $30.16. 21B was released in 1981 on the 41A cardbacks and comes with a silver medical staff. The name was changed to 21B spelled out for the 48 cardbacks and the spelling was changed again for the Return of the Jedi cardbacks. I got this from eBay for $28.01. Now, Wave 4. R2-D2 with sensor scope was released in 1982 on the 45A cardbacks. This new version of R2 comes with a blue sensor scope in his dome that you can raise. I got this from eBay for $21.37. C-3PO with removable limbs was released in 1982 on the 47 cardbacks. He disassembles into five parts and comes with a black vinyl backpack. I got this on eBay for $34.47. Luke Skywalker Hoth Battle Gear was first released on the 45A cardbacks in 1981 and comes with the black Hoth Rebel Rifle. I got this for $32.96 from eBay. Adat Commander was released in 1982 on the 45A cardbacks and comes with the blue Bespin Blaster. I got the blaster from Facebook for $10 and the figure comes from my childhood collection. Cloud Car Pilot Twin Pod was released in 1982 on the 45A cardbacks and comes with two accessories, a pilot blaster and a communicator that is unique to this figure. The name was changed to Cloud Car Pilot on the 48 cardbacks which remained for the Return of the Jedi cardbacks. I spent $36.51 on eBay for this figure. Bespin Security Guard version B was released in 1982 on the 45A cardbacks and comes with the blue Bespin Blaster. I got the blaster from Facebook for $10 and the figure comes from my childhood collection. Now Wave 5. Zuckus was released in 1982 on the 48A cardbacks and comes with the unique Zuckus rifle. I got this for $44.79 from eBay. Imperial TIE Fighter Pilot was released in 1982 on the 47 cardbacks and comes with the gray pilot pistol. I got the pistol from Facebook for $16 and the figure comes from my childhood collection. Wave 6 is the final wave. Forlom was released in 1982 on the 48B cardbacks and comes with three accessories, chest armor, a soft goods cloak, and the black Forlom rifle. I got this from eBay for $35.69. Come back next episode when I go over every figure from The Return of the Jedi. And I hope this episode was fun for you to watch, and please give it a like if it was. And if you want to join me on the entire run, please subscribe. You can also visit my website where you can get your own copy of my new and updated collecting sheets. You can get the version that best suits you. Some are fully editable and you can custom fit for any collection line. 
To make these videos possible, please join my community on Patreon, or you can join my community right here on YouTube as a member. I thank all my supporters. Without your support, these videos would not be possible. And as always, my friends, thank you, and I will see you next time. If you're new to the channel, check out the welcome video, or just check out the next episode. And please subscribe if you want to follow the journey. And remember, there is no shame in being a Padawan.